Hey guys, Mechanic CG here, and welcome back to another episode of Rage 2. Now, I know it's been a, like three weeks since the last episode came out, um, but I sort of had a problem with recording episode 2, and I haven't got round to actually redoing the entire game, getting back to where we were. Um, but what we are going to do is we are going to uh, carry on where we left off. Um, I'm going to go... What's this? Ground control. Let's take a look at this one next. Have a look and see what we have to do. Punch it, Walker. Oh. I love the smooth gameplay that this game offers, though. It's so smooth. Like, I very rarely compliment Bethesda games because, I mean, sometimes they are great, but there are times when they're not great. Oh! Oh, that was good. Um, an example is Fallout 76. Not very great. Um, but then a good example, Wolfenstein. That was a really good game. Okay, it was difficult, but it was a good game. Um, oh, trying to shoot at me, are you? I'll win. I can guarantee you that. Ah, oh, yes. Secre Secreto Wetlands. Oh, we got an authoritary sentry. Lily, I'm in the swampies. Where do I find this Dr. Kvasi? Your guess is as good as mine. You should head to Swamp City, Laguni, and poke around. Gotcha. I'm heading there now. That looks like Laguni. Oh, they're friendly. Never mind. We're here, sport. Laguni, Swamp City. Let's see if I can find anything about Doctor Kvasi. Let's have a look. Hi there, Ranger Walker. I bring potentially exciting messages for you. Oh, Stanley Let's Express. Oh. Have a great day, Ranger Walker. Thank you. Oh, who is this guy? Haven't seen a ranger in a long, long time. Now you look a bit lost to me. We fought back to back, your kind and mine. Back at the war. Hmm, fair enough. Got a dash. Got a dash though. Um ranger. Oh, I actually have to speak this guy. Um, all the way up here, by the looks of it, he is. Why are we all the way down here, then? There's a long way to go. Oh my gosh, look at that. <gasps> oh! That is really cool. So if you go up to the front and you focus on it, you can actually repair the vehicles. Wow! You learn something new every day. Let's go. Whoa!
That was a level 8 sentry over there. Kind of don't want to deal with it now. Um, has this place had a landslide or something? Lighting up. Reacting to some signal close by. It's Arctic, right? Yep, it's designed to pick these old signals up. It could be an old arc. If it's untampered with, it might still have weapons and gear inside. You should really check it out. Oh, okay. Let's take a look for said arc. Lily, this has a bad vibe to it. Like Mom would have said, Rangers must assess the dangers in advance and go in ready for anything. Right. Okay, these are bad guys. Woo! Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh. Right, uh, we're gonna have to rethink this. We have no ammo for that. This is a level seven, so I think what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna leave this for now. Let's just run and get out of here and carry on. Uh, we are carrying on up here. I would have gone for it, but that is just way too high of a level for now. Um, we will give that a try another time. I've lost the road. There's the road. Let's go. Da -da 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 -da. Ooh, nice. So we actually get five times damage on enemies that didn't see us. Uh, missed the corner there. Here we go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This game has so many different sounds, and it's so cool just being able to hear every single little thing. Ah! Should be it. Where are you? What's it?
Come on. Woo! Looking for a Dr. Kvasir here. There you are. Let me just. I see. Uniform is wartime issue. Modified for use in Ecopod fortification. Vineland, no? Then you must be. Yes. Second generation artist. How fascinating. Vineland, yes. I'm pretty much what's left of it. Hmm. You check out. Hold on, and I will let you in. That just came all the way out from the water. This feels very much like another scene in Rage 2. There was sort of a building and you had to get a bridge. Is it the same guy? I don't remember much of Rage 2. Uh, Rage 1. Yo, this looks similar to something I've seen. Welcome, Rage. Welcome. It's been too long since I played host to one of your kind. Dr. Anton Kvasir, genius scientist with a shifty past. Original artist, pre-Apophis. They say he worked for the Authority and helped create their mutant soldiers. Then he turned on his masters, joined the cause, fought alongside my folks in the Authority War. I'm not sure how I feel about mad scientists at this point, but I do need his help. Indeed. It's, uh, it's an impressive setup. Uh, Dr. Kvasir? Kvasir, yes, my lab. Suffices. Legs. <clears throat> My research used to be more mechanically inclined. But over time, the machines, it turns out, fail. I prefer to rely now on genetically engineered solutions, simply because they can heal. Makes sense, I guess. I hope you don't mind, Walker, yes? I put your scan through my arc mainframe. I know you now. Your parents. Such a tragedy when they were lost. But Arvina proudly took you in, no? She did. As if I was her own. But they killed her. They destroyed everything I ever knew. Dead? Oh no. She was... formidable. I was always hoping to, but alas, no. It was a massacre, an unstoppable force. Mutants, a new kind of creature. All tech and armor and guns, and huge, taller than any building. And they were led by a man, General Martin Cross. Oh, he is back then. It was to be expected. He meant his lapdog scientist, Dr. Bendros, were always hard at work on their longevity project. But you see, for that problem, I just might have some solutions. Solutions? I've got one for you. Project Dagger. Ah, you know. Ha <laughs> <Yes>. ha! <laughs> uh. Crowley must have told you already. It will be easy for me to do my part. The project was always equal parts action and science. Come back in about uh, six years or so. Then I will have concocted the nanotrite reprogramming agent, or serum, as I prefer to call it. Whoa, did you just say six years? Yes, thereabouts. The science cannot be rushed. Uh, yes, it can. Better computing power. But alas, my lab is old. Dying. 
Only the elusive Eco-15 is still in orbit, could provide the computing power to speed up this process. Ecopod's still in orbit? Been hearing about that since I was a kid. Yes, it was a miscalculation. It remained on the firmament as the others came tumbling down. If Eco-15 was to be forced down, I could tap into the processing power of that ancient supercomputer. Think of it. To cycle that brutal computing force into We could do that as well. Get ourselves a supercomputer. Hmm. Yes. It can be done. Wait a minute. Eden Space you knew Center. I was volunteer to do it, didn't you? Yes. Let's go. Here we go, we're up. Yes, we got some shotgun shells. Uh, right, uh, our location that we need to head to now, is this it? Eden Space Center, oh my gosh, this is miles away. Uh, is there any fast travel system in this game? There is indeed. Entering overdrive restores a portion of your health. Upgrading overdrive can increase this healing effect. You can use nanotrite boosters to upgrade your nanotrite abilities and gain brand new perks. Uh, and is this mine? Yes, it is. The Phoenix. Uh, yeah, we're still going in the right way. Right, we're going on a trip in our favourite rocket ship. <laughs> Boost is just so easy, like it just regens so quick. Look how slow it goes down. And then look how quick it regens. I caught a bright flare up ahead. Not a rifle scope or a hubcap, something bigger. What? Where was I going? If that's what you're seeing, I suggest you destroy them or they'll use all that stored power to mess you up. Was I supposed to go somewhere else? Yeah, that way. <laughs> I don't know what happened there. I think I just stopped paying attention. Whenever I'm driving, I always zone out. But it's kind of difficult to see the driving line in this, so I sort of just follow the road. Um, whenever I do, like, Forza, I normally just follow the, follow the track, and whenever I see the brake lines, it's like, okay, yeah. I need to slow down there. But I zone out like mad in when I'm driving. It's almost amazing. It's just like, whoa. Let's go. Let's go. Whoa.
How many bullets did that guy need? Let's go. Here we go. Whoa! Is that them all dead? Doctor, I made it to the Space Center. It's in ruins, and like you said, overrun by thugs. It should pose no problem to you. And as for Eden, well, it was built to withstand anything. Let us get you proper access. Press palm to hand scan in the reception desk. Well, look at that. Excellent. Now, allow me to give you full access. Hey, Doc, better hurry up. Road goons caught the scent. Wait and hold. I have it almost. Where are they? <laughs> I like the sound of that. Ah, yes. <laughs> I you like the sound of that. Chances. Now you have full access. President, the EcoPod mission control is on the third floor. Mr. President, welcome. We're on a five times multiplier. Six times. Seven times. Eight times, yes. Where are you? I can do a fist fight too. I'm amazing. Uh, right, we're on the second floor now.
there's got to be enemy zip lining in. I can guarantee you on that, that is a zip line. He was waiting for me. Um, here we go. Fell try cells, that is good. Whoa, 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 there's loads. Let's go shotgun. Max again. Oh my gosh. Made it, Doc. Excellent. Now, look for the central computer. You will initiate the recall procedure for Eco 15. Still in orbit. Recall sequence approved. Beginning Eco Pod recall. Thank you, Mr. President. May you bring about a new Eden. The EcoPod has entered the atmosphere. Convoy temperature readings indicate thermal shielding is uniform. Wow, look at that. Wait, where is that landing? So good. So far, so good. There shouldn't be any enemies in here um, because this has been in space for ages. Here we are. You have found it. Turn it on and let me handle the rest. That big supercomputer will soon be dancing to Classier's tune. It's all powered up. Everything seems to be in working order. Fantastic. The Tagger project will now. 
I am getting a reading from outside the Ecopod. You have authority battle mutants homing in in your location. I'll take care of them. Let's go. And there's one of them. Oh no. Like the doc said, authority mutants. Shouldn't be a problem. How do we kill big guy though? I don't know how we kill that guy. What is his weak spot? Okay, I have an idea. So we have to shoot out the panel at the front. Headshots. Headshots are his weak spot. The authority mutants are no longer a threat. You're good to go. Ah, so swiftly too. You surely are Prowley's successor. Right. So now you're gonna get to finishing up your part of Dagger? Yes, indeed. With this setup, it will be a breeze. Plus, plus <sighs> I will have ample time to prepare other feats of science which will be beneficial to you. Like? Ah, different projects of a scientific nature, all of which will help you get stronger and tougher, and ultimately be able to, how do you say, kick the authorities butt? Sounds good to me. Yes. We've unlocked his projects, which are... This one. Infusion belt, carry up to six health infusion. Uh, a tracker picks up the signal from data pads, enabling you to home in on their signals. Storage containers. Immediately generate a bit of health on overdrive activation. That is going to be useful. That would be very useful. Ah, oh, my car's a long way away. Ah, uh, right. So I think that's. Hang on. Can we do more? Uh, let's see about the next mission. I don't know. Is there any uh like side missions? What's this? Uh, location. Oh, we have extra arcs. I forgot about these. That is a enemy five, enemy three. Let's do this arc. Um, we haven't done an arc in ages. We haven't actually done one this episode. Is that my truck on fire? No. Okay. I'm glad. Now that is how it's done. Yes, it is true. Gumbo. 
Nope, don't want to do a race for you. You're a bad racer anyways. Oh, that did a lot of damage to my truck, though. That was a trader. Traders have big vehicles by the looks of it. That's cool. Oh, the squishy noise. That is our arc. Hey Lily, I'm eyeballing one sketchy looking place. Yeah, things ain't Vineland safe no more. Go in prepared, Walker. We've got plenty of ammo this time though. Dead. Indeed. Arc 404C. Mr. President, welcome to Arc 404C. <laughs> so now I'm a president everywhere. Oh, nanotrite injector. What does this do? Amazing. When you take lethal damage, defibrillation will attempt to revive you. While defibrillation is active, press the corresponding prompt. Ah, so only 15% health. Two, one. Simulation has been completed. Goodbye. Nice. We get defibrillation now. I can't say that word. <laughs> it is. Excellent. You are proving to live up to your potential. I ask that you familiarize yourself with the new. While in the wasteland, you can use focus to locate undiscovered art.
Enemies! I was gonna say, what is that? And that gives me a little bit of fell try. Oh, can I drive this? I can drive this. It's called the Devastator. It's very slow though. <laughs> no, I'm not driving this. Right, but that's going to do it for this episode. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you did enjoy, please leave a like. Comment down below and subscribe. Ow. And I will see you in the next one. Goodbye.